Hi, I'd like to welcome Carly Holmes, board member for the Glade Run Lake Conservancy to the Butler Buzz. Carly, welcome. Hello, I'm so excited to be here. Oh, we're really excited to learn more about Glade Run Lake. So let's start off by, can you tell our viewers, where is Glade Run Lake? Where can we find it? Glade Run Lake is located in Valencia, and we are a nonprofit organization that formed 10 years ago now. And who we are, we're a liaison between Fish and Boat Commission and the community. So Fish and Boat actually owns the lake, and then we help, you know, manage it. So we say what needs to be done and how to do that within the community. So the Glade Run Lake Conservancy is the division that you're a part of. Absolutely, yes. I'm a board member and event coordinator for this big anniversary that we're going to have here. Oh, wonderful. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the history of Glade Run Lake because I am learning and there's a lot yes. to learn, but you and your organization have been very busy. So what have you been up to over the past 10 years? 10 years, that's a long time. So 10 years ago, I'm sure a lot of the community remembers, the lake was drained. So it was drained because there was a problem with the dam and there wasn't enough funds to come up with to keep water in the lake. So that's where we came in. We are a grassroots organization, a bunch of community members that wanted to see the lake back to where it was, wanted to see people fishing, kayaking, all that. So we formed the 501c3 nonprofit and over 10 years we have fundraised, received grants, things like that from a lot of people in the community, a lot of people in the state to help us raise the funds to get the money to repair the dam and then see the water today. So, all right. So yeah. now the, the lake is back yeah. and filled with fish. Yes. And now we're going to celebrate all of the hard work of your group and the support of the community and beyond with the 10 year anniversary, which is on Sunday, August the 29th. So tell us now a little bit more about that event. Well, that's where I come in, so that's perfect. I have been planning this for quite some time now, Trisha. We've been talking about yes. this. It's going to be big. Ten years, you can't go small. Right. So we're going to have events all day long at the lake from 10 to 6. 10 so to 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., we're going to have food trucks. We're going to have different vendors. Wildlife conservation organizations are going to be setting up booths. We're going to have a car cruise from the Rod Fathers of Butler. And the biggest thing we are having is Stick City Brewing Company. They're making a special limited edition beer for us. So we'll have our 10 year anniversary logo on it. Okay. And it's a PA preferred beer. So all the ingredients were actually grown here in Pennsylvania. Oh, how fun. Yeah, everyone's gonna be excited about that. Besides the food trucks and the, the beer that you were mentioning, I also learned about a fun uh, competition happening that day, the fish derby? Yes, we're having a fishing derby. It's for ages 12 and older, and it's going to be done virtually. And we're thinking, how do we do a virtual fishing derby? So anyone that has an Android or an iPhone can download the app. Once you hear it, you'll never forget it. Okay. It's called Fish Donkey, all <laughs> one word. And you'll download that on your phone, and you type in Glade Run Lake, and our tournament will come up. So you can either register uh, register shore fishing okay. or uh, via watercraft. So you could bring your canoe, your kayak. That way it sets the competition fair for people that are in deeper spots compared to people on the shore. But there's going to be prizes. It's going to go from dawn to dusk. So you can stay as long as you want. There's a live leaderboard. Okay. So you can see if I'm in first place and someone catches something bigger, then you can stay longer. That sounds so fun. Yeah. And does there, do you have to register if you want to come to the event? Is there admission? There is no admission if you want to come to the event. So okay. you can come and you can just see what everything's about. You can talk to us. We're going to have a booth there. Like I said, other people are going to have a booth there. Um, if you want to eat lunch, you can eat lunch. We're going to have a tent so you can stay out of the elements. Hopefully no rain. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> it is rain or shine <laughs> event. So, uh, But even if it's just a bright sunny day, we'll have the tent so you can get out of the sun a little bit. And we actually recently just partnered with Freedom Farms. So they're going to be offering hay rides so the family can go have a hay ride, ride, ride around their farm because we are right up against their property. So it's very nice. We'll have a little bit of something for everyone, all ages. Yes, it definitely sounds like that. Now, if individuals are not able to the, attend the event, are there other ways that they, they could support the work that your organization is doing? Absolutely. So going back to the event, we're always looking for sponsors. So if you go to our website, it's www.gladerunlakeconservancy.org 
If you go there, you'll see events. Click the events tab and you'll see all about our event, what time everything is, and how you can get involved with sponsorships. So there's different levels of sponsorships. And if you're maybe out of town, a lot of people are on vacation now this time of year, you can donate online. You know, if you have $5, if you have $50, we're, we'll take anything. <laughs> so you could become a member by joining. You don't have to donate. So membership is actually free now. We've made it so that anyone can be a member and we just want you to be in the know. So sure. that's why when you sign up to be a member, you give us your email and you know when things like this happen or future fundraising events like this happen with us, we want you to be aware. Right. And I really love how a group of people decided to come together and do something amazing that will have a long lasting impact on the, not only right now, but in the future generations. Right. So congratulations. Thank you Thank for you. all of your hard work and your group's hard work. I hope that I can attend this event because it just sounds so much fun. Yes. Well, thank you for having me. I'm super excited. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you would like to see more episodes, click on the playlist button up here. If you want to stay up to date with all of Armstrong's programming, click on the subscribe button down here. See you next time.